Hi, my name is Juan Rodriguez and I'm a technical marketing engineer here at Cisco. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take a look at Wireshark to determine if a network has packet loss. First thing you got to do is download the packet capture from the system where you're troubleshooting. It's best practice to have a packet capture for each of the hubs that the call went through. Once you download the packet capture, you're going to see a zip file like this one. When you open it, you will see a PCAP file. Next, you gotta know all the IP addresses involved in the path of the system. In this case, we're looking at two paths. We're not sure exactly which one was taken by the call, but we do know where the system started here at the endpoint. So this is the first IP that we're gonna take a look at. The first thing you wanna do is a filter to make sure you're following those IP addresses. Once you have that ready, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and change any UDP packets to, R to RTP. How you do that is you go to decode as and change the UDP packet from none to RTP. Click OK. And you do that over and over until you think all of the packets are decoded as RTP. Next thing you gotta do once everything is in RTP, you will go to telephony, RTP, and RTP streams. So right here we're seeing that from 10.164.14.21 to one thirty four forty two two forty. 106, we're having a lot of packet loss. And because of our diagram, we can see that this is from the expressway C to the expressway E. Now, the next thing we got to do is make sure that we have the reverse stream as well. How you would do that is you would click on the stream that you have and then click on find reverse. And that should show you the streams that are coming back, which are this ones. And as you can see, from the expressway E to the expressway C, the streams seem to be clear. Something to take into the account is this SSRC. Once you find the SSRC for the streams, you can get any Wireshark from any system that this went through and find the exact stream with this SSRC number. How you can copy that is you would close this, go to real-time transport, and this syn synchronization source identifier, you could copy it. and then paste it here as a filter and you would only be seeing that stream. Again, with this SSRC number, you can go ahead and find this same stream on any wire shards that were captured for this same call in any of the other systems. And this is how you can find packet loss in less than five minutes using Wireshark. Thank you very much for watching.